Hello and welcome back to another movie reaction. Sarah, what are we watching today? We are watching for a few dollars more. A Fistful of Dollars told the story of a man with no name. Who has no name that we know of. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just doing his thing. He went to this town playing both sides. He's, he's a gunslinger and he's not to be trifled with. So we learned a lot about uh, this trilogy, I guess, of movies after we watched the first one. Yep. Probably most importantly, I guess, is this this isn't considered a true Western because right. these films are spaghetti Westerns. Yeah. They were made in Italy, right? Yes. But I think they still have <laughs> the spirit, right? I, I believe so, yeah. A lot of people also said that this movie is better than the first yeah, one. Yeah, I know. And then someone even said the third one's even better than those two. Some people also mentioned that these aren't technically a trilogy. Like they were yeah. kind of just... Put together i don't know i don't know what the details are on that but i guess it's just something to consider, consider mm -hmm. as we watch it if you like the video feel free to subscribe to our channel and if you really like the video Ooh. we also offer early access to ad free versions through patreon are you hungry hungry yes because we'll be watching and consuming a spaghetti <laughs> western oh my god like that, was that, that, was, that was pretty bad that was pretty good it's showtime. Out in the middle of nowhere. I try to be good at whistling, but it just, it doesn't come to me naturally. <laughs> well, whoever it is, they seem to be having a dandy time. Whoa. Oh, I was going to say, oh someone's about to get shot. I was going to say, they're that not having a dandy time anymore. Oh my God. Gonna be my next comment. Someone might get shot. <laughs> Yeah, I remember really liking the intro sequence mm. from the last film. He would thought that this was supposed to be the main character. In the end, he's just dead, left for dead. <laughs> it's tough out there. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there'll be like any like recurring characters or like same actors. Oh, but different people. Yeah, different people. It's kind of fun how it's just it's still staying on one screen, and then the credits are all doing the yeah the work here. I'm I'm definitely seeing all the Italian names now. Yeah. <laughs> Sergio Leone. <laughs> Where life had no value, death sometimes had its price. That is why the bounty killers appear. Oh, the bounty killers. We got some bounties. <laughs> Who is it? Who's He's hiding? showing his face. Oh, yeah. By getting off at Santa Fe and returning by way of Amarillo. You should be able to get right where you're... Ooh. Look at that. Those eyes. This train will stop at Tucumcari. <laughs> Jeez. Why don't you stop? Something going wrong? Nope. Somebody pull the emergency. Oh, call. okay. I was going to say, was it an emergency? <laughs> it was this man. <laughs> Whoa, they just have their horses in there? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. I like it all in black. If you want to get off, you... Well, the railroad company <laughs> would be mighty pleased to make any arrangements. I did get off. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving his attitude. Is he a bounty hunter? Oh, it looks like it. Wanted... Guy, Guy Calloway. Calloway for murder. For murder. <laughs> What's so funny? Guy passed by here in person and added on those two zeros. He said, a measly thousand bucks for me <laughs> is much too little. He's taking it. Who is this guy? Everyone goes quiet. He wants to be sharp, it looks Information? like. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he knows something. Yeah. <laughs> Where is he? I like how the music stops I again. Know. <laughs> Cough it up, sonny boy. <gasps> I've no idea where he'd be today. He's yeah. right up here? Yeah. That was smooth. I don't think he'll be laughing for long. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to start shooting. 
too late. Evening, ma'am. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I think his bullets are going to do the chasing. So far, this guy doesn't seem worth a thousand bucks. <laughs> He's got a rifle. Oh, oh, shit. That's clean. That's awesome. Your time is up. Count your blessings. Wow. This guy is packing some serious heat. What the hell? That's some a serious attachment there. Yeah, he has. doesn't even flinch either. No. <sighs> right. Ooh. There you are. Thousand dollars. Damn. Not a bad payday. Nope. What do you 2000. know about Kavanaugh? If it's of any interest to you, somebody else dropped in to see me about him. I never seen him before. A guy? His name is uh Manco. What was his name? Manco? Something yeah, like that's that. what it sounded like. <laughs> as soon as he enters, the rain follows. So it's going to be a little bit of a showdown between two bounty hunters, maybe? Maybe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> As always, he's eyeing everything yeah. up, you know? Yeah, it's coping up the joints. Light. <laughs> yeah. No baby Kavanaugh. There. Oh. At that table. Well, that was kind of him. He cut the deck and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so much attitude. I know. Three kings. Three of a kind. Playing oh, five card stud. He's got a pair of aces. Everyone's always just looking. Yeah. <laughs> he feels pretty Show him. Is he going to have three aces? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't hear what the bed was. Your life. <laughs> Your life. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, got the karate damn. chop. Ooh, I like the fighting. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> chop. Alive or dead, it's your choice. Uh oh. Let Red go. This must be his boys. <laughs> not anymore. They're not. <laughs> Don't just, bro. Just stop. Oh. Did you not just see what he did? <laughs> Tell me, isn't the sheriff supposed to be courageous, loyal, and above all, honest? I guess he's a sheriff now. <laughs> you people need a new sheriff. He's dirty. And just like that, he's gone. He's gone, yeah. It was interesting to see the differences between their both approaches. His oh. is a bit more in your face. Yeah. Whereas the other guy was... A bit more methodical. So do you think I'm thinking maybe they're gonna work together on something, hopefully, mm, or go maybe. against each other? I don't know. It's gotta be one of the two, right? Yeah. Could this be some sort of jail, prison? Mmm. So I was getting busted out, huh? Stealthy. They're stealthy, yeah. Nice. <laughs> do people actually do that in real life? It's just like the video games. I like the one-two punch. That? Yeah, I thought I heard something over there. It was just the wind. <laughs> I wonder who they're coming for, this guy or the man? Yeah. The... Oh. Sleeping. He awakens from his slumber. <laughs> so the last one. Yeah. Yoy. And that, that's, uh, what was his name? I was like, Chico? Chico? Was, was it, it Chico? Chico? Hasta luego. Oh, oh, come on. Why'd he kill him? I don't know. Maybe he's just that kind of guy. So we've got some of the same guys as the baddies. Yep. 
I think these guys are a little scarier, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree. Wow. A couple more to make sure. <laughs> Come on, guys, take some cover. <laughs> you can't just go running up in there. <laughs> it's a lucky day. I'm letting you leave here. That's so you can tell everybody you've seen what takes place here. Oh, he's crazy. <laughs> look at that laugh. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> 10,000. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> no. No, no. Damn. You took money to put me behind bars. Ooh. And for them. Oh, is he gonna no. kill us? You use the reward oh, that no, you got no, to no. start raising a family. Oh damn! Please let him go. I was the one. You know that. <laughs> wow! I know. I'm sure you hate me just enough. Damn. Yeah, definitely more of a cold-blooded yeah, villain in this one. For sure. This time you'll have a chance to shoot me, but not in the back. Oh. When you hear the music finish, begin. What are these games? <laughs> what? He likes to play with his food. Yep. I think they all know what's coming next. I think probably. so. Oh, this is so tense. <laughs> oh, too slow. Oh, he wasn't even close. No. Ooh, that scene was really good. Yeah. Wow, the music was so good. Woo. No. I wonder if he's just got a little jittery. I wonder if the adrenaline's pumping. Well, I, we see now why he's worth 10000 He's kind of crazy. Yeah, a madman. Maybe man. a little unpredictable. Mm. Well, maybe more than a little. <laughs> Douglas Mortimer. Mortimer. Virginia. Mortimer. I'm looking for a first-class bank. Oh, but exactly. Well, Mr. Mortimer, I want to assure you our bank here has everything. I think Mortimer is the perfect name. <laughs> Suppose I'm abandoned. Yeah. Now, what would be the most impossible bank for me to rob? The one bank I would suggest is the Bank of El Paso. Not even India would dare attack that one. Okay. Maybe he's trying to see what they would attack next. Hmm. This looks like I'm a real, um, Armadillo and oh, yeah. Red Dead. <laughs> so we've got Douglas Mortimer, Indio. Indio. And then our main guy. My name is Fernando. The stable is right here, and that is your hotel. You probably wouldn't like that other place as much, senor. You'd have to spend half the night shooting cockroaches. <laughs> and there's a landlady at this room, senor. Wow, it's a salesman. Yeah. At the hotel, senor. A stranger just came out of there. <laughs> is it Mortimer? Oh. <laughs> Where is he staying? Another 50 cents? Yeah, it's gonna cost you. The hotel. <laughs> Help Where did he come from? I, I want the room right above. I'm sorry, the room you want is our best. It's always occupied. Check the register. Mary! <laughs> it's Senor Martinez. Hey! <laughs> Martinez! <laughs> it's free now. <laughs> that room is taken! Is he just gonna throw him out? <laughs> I guess so. He's tall, isn't he? <laughs> Oh gosh. Don't go, Mr. Martinez. Immediately, I have an appointment elsewhere. He's got it too. I wonder how he got, he tipped off to go to El Paso. Yeah. I wonder if he just went on the same kind of logic. Probably. Watch this. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Everyone's a, everyone's a sharpshooter. I guess so. Hello, my friends. And Sancho. If you're waiting for Sancho, I'll go and come back in about four years. <laughs> He's in prison. A bank at El Paso. Nino is the safe, hmm. which weighs three tons and can't be opened with dynamite. I would like to relay a nice little parable. Once upon a time, there was a carpenter. This one did well because he was a builder of safes. There was a banker once who decided he must have his iron safe disguised. And one day, the carpenter's in El Paso. He happens to walk into the bank there. And what does he find? The cabinet. There was something he had to do to put his hands on the money inside. His good fortune stopped that day. Because later, as a prisoner, he ran into me. Oh, it was that guy in the jail? That he shot. Wow. So, what are the odds? His good luck did stop. <laughs> Almost a million dollars in it. I didn't see that coming. No, I did not. Because I was wondering like, if there was going to be any history between those two yeah. in the prison. Here at the bank at El Paso, we have half a million dollars reserve on hand. Damn. When the bank is closed, an armed guard always remains here, and a patrol is on guard outside. That's well, not that much. One. To try robbing us would be so futile that only a complete fool would attempt it. Or a genius. <laughs> or a complete madman. Oh, that too. We know one of those. Yep. <laughs> okay, let's go. What was it, Fernando? Fernando, yeah. Whoa, he's got a whistle too. <laughs> Pay up. Is a stranger in town? Yes, and I know something else. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me, you sawed off little runt. I want to know how many men there are all together. The saloon. Ooh. The saloon is a dangerous place. Yep. All right, so you have Indio's crew here. Oh. And of course, Mortimer. All right, we've got everyone almost yeah. in one place. <laughs> <laughs> He is not afraid of anything. <laughs> he mean, likes it. Yeah. <gasps> he was greatly offended by that. <laughs> he can't believe it. He's, He's so doing mad. I know. <laughs> He's doing everything he can to provoke them. <laughs> Thanks for the smoke. I mean, I'm sure they have to lay low right now. Yeah. They don't want to draw attention to themselves. No. Nope. That was quite the show he put yep. on, though. <laughs> His introduction to them. Why should a man walk around with a pistol and then let himself be insulted? It's mighty strange. He had a very, very important reason, that's all. Mm. I was thinking that myself. Is this the end of the workday? So they got a couple of guards, it seems like. Three, L four, L five, six, twenty one, twenty two. What are they counting to? I don't know. He's doing it too. Like how long it takes for them to get all the way around. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah, nothing was going down yet. Just doing their research. Yeah, but now he knows what they're what they're going after. Yeah. I can see Clint Eastwood staring right back at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's classic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in the papers. Ah. Okay, so he's also a bounty hunter. He's still... All right now. Ah. I don't know him. I don't know him. I don't know him. I'm dead. Understand? <laughs> well, there was a time when I knew everybody. Two, 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 three. <laughs> Disgusting. One day someone from the railroad comes here to see me. And the best thing for you, Prophet, is to sell your land to the company or else we'll buy Baker's. Oh, you know what I told him about the railroad? You know what I told him he could do with his railroad? Oh, he's crazy. That's great. Kind of relatable, though. Oh, my gosh. That's what he has to deal with. Wow. It's like us. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I didn't 
didn't come here to listen to you rattle on about trains. I wanted to find out about this man. I guess I better leave before you go and lose your temper. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Why are you so dang stupid? Man you asked about. There's only one question. How does he carry his gun, huh? He's Colonel Douglas Mortimer. Mortimer, a brave man, a soldier. Now he's reduced to being a bounty killer, same as you. Hmm. Because of trains. <laughs> Those damn trains. <laughs> Colonel, wow. I know. That'd be so scary. He looked a little suspicious, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was scared, but why was he nervous? Yeah. Just to lure him out here? Hmm. Maybe it was, so they could have a little chat. Take it to the station. Oh, he's the telling him to leave? Leaving. Oh, okay. Wow. Hold it. There's only room for one bounty hunter in this town. Yep. Take it back. This poor man. <laughs> Take it to the station. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh shit. He's not backing down though. Uh -huh. Whatever. I don't think he will. I think you might be doing this all doing, night. Yeah, I keep doing this. <laughs> Oh! Shot his hat in the air. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when you disrespect the hat. <laughs> He's having drinks. Yep. How can somebody in my business go around with a contraption like this? Is it like a longer, like, like further distance? Yeah. I reached almost 50 years of age with my system. Not many men last long in these parts. When I get my hands on Indio and that $10,000, I'm going to buy myself a little place. Possibly retire. <laughs> I want to get my hands on Indio, too. They can split it. After me. Is that a proposition? Mm-hmm. Oh. An equal partnership. First is, there's 14 of them. Yeah, that's a lot. The second reason is, you could make it 15 to 1. Don't forget, I want to play in this game, too. You can have the reward for Indio. And I'll take the reward for the rest of the band. So oh, India's worth ten thousand dollars, but the rest of the band adds up to much more than that. Oh. Let's drink to this partnership. Yeah. With no tricks, of course. Mm-hmm. No tricks. How do you know? I know it'd be hard to trust. One from the outside, one from the inside. There's no other way. One of us will have to join India's band. What? How do you propose that I uh, join up with India? Maybe. Bring him a bunch of roses. <laughs> Who's Sancho Perez? A oh, friend the... of Indio's. Yeah. Right now he's cooling off. In the prison. He's cooling off in Alamogordo jail. Tell me, Colonel. Were you ever young? Yeah. And just as reckless as you. <laughs> then one day something happened. Oh. You lost some money. Made life very precious to me. Okay, so we have a plan. Yeah, he's got to join the game. <laughs> Great. Oh my gosh. Do you have a, is this like a nightmare? I don't know. Wait. Yep. Yeah. Is that it? Mortimer? No. Hmm. I wonder. But yeah, because you looked younger there. And there, there seems to be a thing with like these little. The locket. lockets or yeah. whatever. <laughs> Imagine waking up to that. Better back away. Watch out. <laughs> oh damn! They told me you were put away. You'd be resting for four long years in prison. <laughs> 
Hmm. Can I join your gang now? I feel like they're not just going to trust him. Like, why would yeah. he do that right. in the first place? Who is that with you? He got me out. Well, such a big reward being offered on all you gentlemen that I thought I might just tag along on your next robbery. Might just turn you into the law. What? Interesting strategy. That's the one answer that would prove you all right. Not far from El Paso is a little town, Santa Cruz. Tomorrow, we'll rob the bank in Santa Cruz. Mm -hmm. Shoot, kill, get every gun in the area after you. Where are you going? If there's gonna be any shooting, I gotta get my rest. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get my beauty sleep. Yeah. Huh. So are they gonna rob another bank? I think as like a distraction, kind yeah, of. Yeah, Santa Cruz. Big joke, wasn't it, amigo? Who said I was joking? <laughs> well, couple down. Yeah. Do you think uh, Mortimer will, like, do you think they'll betray each other at all? I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what will happen. Indio and his band have just robbed a bank here in town. Why don't you just sit down and send out the alarm? I didn't hear any shots at the bank, and I sure would have. You might hear one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're just kind of chilling. So, yeah, he gets the job done without having to do anything. Well, part one of the plan has been pulled off flawlessly, yes. I think. So down there is the, yeah, the law. They see that. It's perfect. Yeah. Makes it look convincing. There's that lock, lock it again. Everything's going smooth. That might be your last meal there, sunny boy. <laughs> and I'll tell you what's in there. Yeah. Eleven. <laughs> Twelve. Oh. It's gone. Where'd they go? I don't know. <laughs> Uh oh. They're pretty close. You gotta hide. It's too quiet. That'll change pretty soon. <gasps> oh shit. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Well, not much you can do about that. No. They're just gonna take the whole thing. Damn, that was quick. Yeah. So now what? I don't know. Do they just like... Like, do we need a whole new plan? Or do they just track him down and shoot him? That's a lot, man. I'm going after them. I'm going alone. Our partnership is dissolved. What? Yeah, boy, let's wait and talk it over. I have an appointment with Indio, and I'm not going to let anyone else interfere. You're certain about that? Oh, no. No! In that case, I'm sorry. <laughs> Indio sent four men to Santa Cruz. And one man returns, uh, a new man, without a scratch. And as of today, the whole gang is worth $40,000 more. That's the reward offered by the bank to get the money back. Is the partnership operating again? So this was all his plan? Wow. Incendio to go north. And then go along the Rio Bravo. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Yeah, Mortimer doing the scheming. Yeah, it, felt, it feels weird because in the first movie, I felt like... Clint Eastwood always had like everything yeah. scheming from afar and playing everybody. Now he's the one kind of being played a little mm -hmm. bit. That's one way to get it open. <laughs> Wait a minute. We need time to open it. This is the right place. I don't know. And the others? Dead? Yeah. And you just saved your own skin, isn't that right, you yellow b <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch Show me. Who's boss. You did your part of it. Which way we headed? We? North. North? 
Seems like a good place for an ambush to me. South. Hmm. Right to the border. Think we're at east. East? There's a place I know about. Agua Caliente. We don't know how you'd be in emergencies. This is the right place. I got a way you can show the men. <laughs> so do you think he was trying to play Mortimer? By... Yeah, it's by going somewhere else. By right? going south? Mortimer. But then they I, they changed the, yep. not either of the ways they that east. they wanted to go. Hello. Uh oh, this. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do. He might just have to take him out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's very kind of him. Well. Oh. Was good, Mortimer? Oh, he knew. How'd you get here? I think he, sus maybe he suspected him that he would try to play him. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice, like, yeah. good, good way of showing his skills without taking anyone out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. These guys just keep one-upping each I other. Know. It's great. I figured you'd tell Indio to do just exactly the opposite of what we agreed. Since El Paso was out of the question, well, here I am. <laughs> Tequila for all of us. Oh, oh shit. <gasps> They're gonna recognize him. Remember me, amigo? <laughs> of course you do. Now, come on, you light another match. I generally smoke just after I eat. Why don't you come back in about 10 minutes? <laughs> What's he, what are you gonna do, Mortimer? Are they gonna show down right in here? Yep. He's no chicken. Oh. Who are you? <laughs> I'm the one who can open the safe for you. What? I can open it without blowing it up. Mm. You think it's a bluff? I don't know. He's got lots of tricks up his sleeve. Five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Two's what I'll pay you. Man, Mortimer is crazy. Yeah. He's like fifty steps ahead of everyone. Oh, is he like, like burning it away with yeah. acid or something? Damn. We're going to wait here for an entire month if I think it's necessary. Damn. And everybody will get his share. What the heck are they going to do? <laughs> I know. Right here. Let's go. Okay, it's locked away. Yeah, um, he has the key. Uh -huh. Would they want that money? Like, was there any reason they would want it? Or is it too, like, too hot, the money? Who? For Mortimer and... I don't know, I was just thinking, like, is there a chance that Mortimer... Mortimer and Clint walk out with the money. I don't too? like. I don't know how much is in there. Is he going for the money? No way. Or he's on the roof. <laughs> what? Whoa! Oh, he's sticking to the top. They're the. Are they really like? Can you just remove? The roof tiles like that? I was okay. worried about you. <laughs> All alone with uh, so many problems to solve. How did he get in here? <laughs> I don't know. He's a magician. I know, honestly. It's all right here. What was that that he put in there? I don't know. I, I wonder if it's just like a note. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> Am I going to see them? Oh my god. No! Shit. Oh. <laughs> 
No. Ah, here we go again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> How the hell are they gonna get out of this? I'm a little oh. surprised they don't just kill them. Yeah, I know. I can see them doing something like they have to kill each other, mm. and then the winner, I don't know, gets to live. <laughs> like hyenas. <laughs> What's he doing now, the sheriff of El Paso? Right now, looking for the cash that was in the bank. And suppose he finds the bodies of these men just outside El Paso. Oh. We have lots of money on them. So they're going to try to pin it on them? I guess. But they don't know where the money is right now. They didn't take it off of him? Because he remember he left it like in the trees right by the roof. He threw it up there. Right, 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 right. Are they gonna turn on each other? What is it, Nino? A change of plans. In your one shoe. <laughs> wow. Each not loaded. I was gonna say his hair still looks great after being beaten up. I think you should get out fast now. Here's your guns without bullets. And listen, don't you let Indio find you both around. Do you understand why he's helping? Wait. Don't let Indio let you know you're around? Wait, so what the hell is going on here? Or are they trying to trick them? I know you don't like questions, Indio, but why are you doing this? How long have you known that Monko's a bounty killer? I knew he was one from the first moment he arrived. Oh, shit. The other one's also a bounty killer. <laughs> so I have an idea. So we let all of them get mixed up in a gun battle. But that won't really matter. Because we'll be far away, right? Mm. And we'll have all the money. Wow, he's just gonna get rid of everyone in his crew? Who did it? Why don't you look at the knife? It's mine. And it shouldn't be there, should it? I didn't do it. Virgilio, it's difficult to prove that. Let's see if you can get to it. Oh, shit. Run! <laughs> oh, give me a break. What an actor. Virgilio, it just killed Slim. Oh my, what an Oscar performance. I want her back. Right now. Right now! What are you doing here? Go on, get her back! There's something else yep. in here. Uh-huh. Prepare to get out of here. <laughs> With tears. What a bastard. With tears in his eyes, I too. I know. Are they waiting? Could be. <gasps> Do they knew? They knew. Not a bad idea, Indio. But I'm one thing you forgot about. So much backstabbing. I know. <laughs> oh. So much maniacal laughter. Yeah. <gasps> you guys think you're sneaky? Leave Indio to me. Where in hell is it? Not here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's just wait, Groggy. They'll be back here. Ooh, here we go. No, dude, done just like that. Ew, ah! <laughs> oh, nice. A little environmental attack. Yeah. He's quick. Gee, I wonder where he's at. 
Come on, guys. Idiots. <laughs> Is that her? I think it's her. I can see that it means a lot to you, Indigo. Why? He just had a broken heart, that's all. <laughs> Or maybe not. Oh. Oh. Did she to kill herself? Oh. Like on accident or on purpose? Maybe. Damn. Indio! This is Colonel Mortimer. Maybe. He was her father? Could be. Oh, did he really think he had a chance? The other guy? No! No! When did chimes end? Pick up your gun. Try and shoot me, Colonel. Just try. Did you have another Ooh. gun? Come on, Mortimer, you can do it. I guess he would know when the chime ends, so maybe that gives him, if he knows the locket. What? What? He took it away from him. We got a standoff. <laughs> Very careless of you, old man. Nice. Try this. Now we start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back. Gonna sit, yeah, enjoy the show. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. Perfect shot. Oh. Maybe not. And he's just acting. Hey, we know he's a good actor. I know, right? <laughs> there seems to be a family resemblance. Okay. Naturally. Between brother and sister. Oh! Like gun. Brother! We were close enough. Yeah, yeah. You become rich. <laughs> you mean we've become rich, old man? No, it's all for you. What? I think you deserve it. Aww. What? <laughs> I think he accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. I think so. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's oh, still, hip. he's still alive. Well, he got shot, didn't he? I thought he went down. Yeah, he did. Sixteen. Oh, there's one, one missing. Seventeen. Watch out! Ah! <laughs> 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 nice. That was clean. And Mortimer rides. Bye, Mortimer. I hope those buys don't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What about the money? Did he take it? Is it? Is it still in that the tree there? Oh. oh, of course. Mortimer didn't want any of this. Come on, Mortimer, a little bit, a little bit. Could have taken a couple of bucks. Bravo, bravo. The yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> well, another spaghetti western gobbled up. <laughs> I'm really pushing that food. Yes, you are. Food gag. Yeah. <laughs> I really like this one. I, I know. It, it, I feel like it took a lot of what the first one did. Yes. And improved it. And I feel like like the tense moments were super tense. Mm -hmm. The, you know, the standoffs were all good. The funny moments. Yeah. I felt like just the overall environment was a bit more lively. 
just like with this one going into the bars and saloons there's a bit more extras mm. and talents folks so yeah that this area for more alive as opposed to the first one it was just kind of like this isolated mm -hmm. desert small town but i love the introduction of a new character mortimer mortimer well, yeah he was really our focus for a lot of the beginning yeah we didn't even see um clint eastwood's character mm -mm. for a while right and he is not a man you mess with oh, awesome character just his look I I like he's got a signature look you don't want to be <laughs> on the receiving end of that look. I feel like what you said was true. You know, he was kind of one-upping Clint, yeah. Clint Eastwood's character. I think, I mean, obviously he has a little bit of age and experience on right. on him. So he's he's been around the block a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And he really showed that. Yeah, I love that the relationship between the two. And uh, they're just playing a chess match. And you think they're already together, going to work together. So they didn't use it, I feel like, very much, but we did get sort of a name for- Manco. For, yeah, Manco. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's official or- Yeah, I know. Or what? Will be used in the next one. I thought the the villains were a bit more vicious in this yes, one compared to ruthless. the first one. Ruthless. And there was even an additional layer to Indio. You know, he had a, I guess, a love you know, one sided. What's <laughs> our very one sided love? Ugh. But yeah, he kept on seeing that those lockets um, throughout the movie. Yeah. So. He felt, Indio felt very unhinged. Yeah. Just, you know, he would do whatever he wanted. But at the same time, he was very, he was pretty smart. He was. Because he had his own plans in motion. Exactly. So you kind of see how he got to where he was. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he is definitely creepy and weird. And yeah, not afraid. Out of control. Not afraid to, you know, kill his own men. Yeah. So kids. Oh, whoever. No. Little baby. Yeah, definitely a step up from the villain in this mm -hmm. one. Even though it was the same. Same act, same right? Guy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, I feel like he really felt like a different different character overall. Character. I think the music in this one was really well done. As always. I think one of my favorite scenes primarily because of the music was that showdown early on between indio and that guy yeah who Betray ratted him out ratted i guess out. just the way like the music intertwined with the locket music it was just it was so good i feel like i had chills during that yeah and towards the end here too yeah just the locket and in being incorporated into the overall story right sound of everything was really cool and he had of course the classic whistly <laughs> western <laughs> stuff as well uh -huh. do you think mortimer will be back i feel like he won't oh uh, yeah there i my guess is they're either use mortimer mortimer's character or they'll maybe bring back that actor mm. and use him as a different character but i i mean he's very memorable from this film i love the, the banter between him and clint eastwood and I hope to see him again. Right? Yeah, I really liked how he kind of played a similar role, yet he was still a lot different from yes. the type of guy that the man with no name, yeah, and we Manko, saw, is. We saw that with the different approaches. Obviously, like him being a bit older, he had to adjust how he approached the situations. Mm -hmm. I felt like he was more of a keep his distance. Yeah, a little more cautious, maybe. Mm hmm but still just as ruthless. Exactly. Yeah, one of my favorite scenes was when they were, um, Clint was shooting his hat and then he one up to him. So yeah, that was always good. I, I feel like it was so random, but the whole scene <laughs> with the old guy that lived by the train was hilarious. <laughs> Props, <laughs> like, where did that even come <laughs> from? <laughs> Props to him for sticking around. We, we've lived in an apartment where there's a train near us. So yeah. That felt no fun, and it wasn't as bad as that either. <laughs> I thought there was steam coming out. I liked the little kid, Fernando. Fernando, oh yeah. Funny. And then Clint's introduction was cool. One of my favorite scenes in this film when they're playing poker and he wins and he's like, what's the bet? Your life. I know. That is a cold line, man. Yeah, I feel like there were just so many like so cool Iconic. epic mm -hmm. parts to this because you had both of these cool protagonists, yeah it's not just one yeah so i'm glad they ended up working together i would say maybe the story as a whole felt a little more cohesive in this one too in the first movie his character clint eastwood's character yeah. didn't really have 
a plan to no. start out. He just, he just kind of like, fell into it. Right. But f- with this one, you know, he, they were both bounty hunters. Yes. Pursuing bounties. So that was kind of figured out right from the start. Yeah. And then you had this big bounty, so you knew they were both going to pursue that. Right. I think it definitely flowed well and it ended mm-hmm. well with Mortimer getting his locket and yeah. revenging his sister's death. Mm-hmm. We're definitely excited to eventually watch eventually. the final movie <sighs> in this trilogy, but it is three hours long, so we <laughs> have to have plenty of time to do that. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, it's been quite an epic series. Really fun. Absolutely. It'll be sad when it's over. I know. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.